गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप ऑल यू आर सेफ एंड इन दिस मैथ्स क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द मॉडल्स ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी लर्न कॉन्जुकेट ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर से मॉडल्स ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर मेशर्स द डिस्टेंस ऑफ दैट नंबर फ्रॉम द ऑरिजिन इन द कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन Modulus of a complex number measures the distance of that number from the origin in the complex plane. Say when we draw a graph, this is a real part and here it is imaginary part. And if z is equal to x plus i y, so x comma y x real part somewhere here and y, so I can mark it x comma y. So when I connect it, this is x and this is y, isn't it? So if I join this, this is what they have mentioned: the distance from the origin to the complex. See, this is a right angled triangle. So by Pythagoras theorem, that is root of sum of the squares of the other two sides. So you make it x square plus y square. Say the definition is if z is equal to x plus i y, then the modulus of z that we will be denoting it as modulus z and is defined by modulus z is equal to root of x square plus y square root of. For example, modulus two plus i. So that is root of. Two square plus one square. Then we can simplify and write the answer. That is root four plus one, which is equal to root five. Then or one more example, two i. Here there is no real part, so zero square plus imaginary part two square. So root four, which is equal to two. Do you understand how to find out the modulus? Very simple, isn't it? Now, from that we are going to do some other properties. See here, z is equal to x plus i y means we know z bar equal to x minus i y, and for z modulus z equal to root of x square plus y square. Now, just to find out what is z into z bar. Z is x plus i y and z bar is x minus i y. So when we multiply this, we will be getting x square plus y square. Already we have learned, isn't it? See this. I am writing it as square root of x square plus y square, the whole square. I can write it, isn't it? Now I know that root of x square plus y square is modulus z. So we make it that is modulus z the whole square. So z into z bar is equal to modulus z the whole square. In most of the proofs, we will be using this. Okay, that is, e z into e z bar is equal to modulus e z the whole square. Now, properties of modulus of a complex number. Modulus e z will be equal to modulus e z bar. Say, this modulus e z is root of x square plus y square. For this, you can find out modulus e z bar. What we may get it more root of. X square plus imaginary part that is minus y the whole square. So x square plus y square. Both are same, isn't it? Here also root of x square plus y square, and here also we have got it root of x square plus y square. So modulus z is equal to modulus z bar. The second one, modulus z one plus z two is always less than or equal to. Modulus is at one plus modulus is at two. This is triangle inequality. An important proof. After this property, we will prove it. An important one. Modulus is at one plus is at two is less than or equal to modulus is at one plus modulus is at two. Now, when we multiply, that is same. It will be equal to modulus is at one into modulus is at two. When we divide, also we will get modulus is at one by modulus is at two. But when it is in plus, it is less than or equal to. If it is with minus, that is greater than or equal to modulus of modulus is at one minus modulus is at two. Why again this modulus is given? Ma, see, suppose 
if modulus z2 is greater than modulus z1 we will get a negative value here in order to make it positive it is given modulus of modulus z1 minus modulus z2 now z power n the modulus is equal to modulus z the whole power n comma n is any integer and real part of z is always less than or equal to modulus z real part of z is actually x isn't it so that will be always less than or equal to modulus z the same way imaginary part of z is y that y will be always less than or equal to modulus z some property we will prove it and some of the property we have to use in the problems okay okay that state and prove triangle inequality for any two complex numbers z1 and z2 we have modulus z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to modulus z1 plus modulus z2 this is what triangle inequality i said isn't it shall we prove it say in order to prove that i am just taking modulus z1 plus z2 the whole square okay left hand side actually we have modulus z1 plus z2 to prove that i have taken square see we have learned that modulus z the whole square is z into z bar z into z bar we proved that is modulus z the whole square so i am writing it as z into z bar that is z1 plus z2 into z1 plus z2 the whole bar is that clear now z1 plus z2 this bar we can separate isn't it z1 bar plus z2 bar here also you can write it z1 plus z2 the whole bar can be written as z1 bar plus z2 bar this also we have learned already now ordinary multiplication multiply it we make it z1 into z1 bar plus z2 into z1 bar now multiply with z2 bar z1 into z2 bar plus z2 into z2 bar we have did the ordinary multiplication see this one we knew z1 into see z into z bar means modulus z the whole square this i can write it modulus z1 the whole square this last term also we can write it modulus z2 the whole square so remaining see this is a square plus b square in between actually we need a term 2ab but here you see z2 z1 bar and this is z1 z2 bar say i am writing z1 this one z1 z2 bar the whole bar this one i am writing as it is see z bar the whole bar is again z isn't it that we know we have learned z bar the whole bar is equal to z see z bar the whole bar that is z this is z1 bar so value did not change it now this together i am going to take it as z and this is z bar see z plus z bar by 2 is equal to real part of z this one we have proved in the last exercise real part of z is equal to z plus z bar by 2 so from this z plus z bar is equal to 2 into real part of z now if you are considering z1 into z2 bar as z we may get modulus z1 the whole square plus 2 into real part of z1 z2 bar plus modulus z2 the whole square is that clear now i have to remove this real part see just before in the properties we learned real part of z is always less than or equal to modulus z real part of z is always less than or equal to modulus z so equal to will become less than or equal to modulus z1 square plus 2 into modulus z1 into z2 bar 
plus modulus is equal to the whole square. Is that clear? Now I am going to write equal to modulus is equal to 1 square plus 2 into. We can separate it, isn't it? Modulus is equal to 1 into modulus is equal to bar plus modulus is equal to the whole square. This we have used. Now again, we know that modulus is at bar is equal to modulus is at. First property we learned that only, isn't it? So I can write which is equal to modulus is at 1 square plus 2 into modulus is at 1 into modulus is at 2 plus modulus is at 2 the whole square. Now we have got it a square plus 2ab plus b square. So that is a plus b the whole square. That is modulus is at 1 plus modulus is at 2 the whole square. Now actually left hand side we had modulus is at 1 plus is at 2 the whole square. And in between what symbol is there? Less than or equal to. And the answer is modulus is at 1 plus modulus is at 2 the whole square. Both square is there isn't it? Take square root on both sides. So we make it modulus is at 1 plus is at 2 is less than or equal to modulus is at 1 plus modulus is at 2. Is that clear? Important proof. This is what we used to say it as triangle inequality. So, similarly, if it is modulus is at 1 plus is at 2 plus is at 3 plus etc. plus is at n, this will be less than or equal to modulus is at 1 plus modulus is at 2 plus modulus is at 3 plus etc. plus modulus is at 10. Okay. So, the next, the distance between two points is at 1 and is at 2 in complex plane is modulus is at 1 minus is at 2. Here also the question can be asked, three vertices can be given and they may ask us to check whether the vertices forms a equilateral triangle or right angled triangle. That means we have to find out the distance, isn't it? And to find out the distance that is modulus is at 1 minus is at 2. See if is at 1 equal to x1 plus i y1 and is at 2 is equal to x2 plus i y2 then modulus is at 1 minus is at 2 is See, when we subtract this to real part, x1 minus x2 plus i into y1 minus y2. Now, we can find out the modulus value that is root of real part to the whole square plus imaginary part to the whole square. So, we are getting x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. This is the ordinary distance formula, isn't it? Yeah. Now, some of the remark. That is very important one we will be using. See, modulus is at 1 minus is at 2 is less than or equal to modulus is at 1 plus is at 2. Modulus is at 1 minus is at 2 is less than or equal to modulus is at 1 plus is at 2. This is 1. And modulus of is at 1 minus modulus is at 2 is always less than or equal to modulus is at 1 plus is at 2 and as per triangle inequality we know this is less than or equal to modulus is at 1 plus modulus is at 2 okay also or and modulus of modulus is at 1 minus modulus is at 2 is less than or equal to modulus is at 1 minus modulus sorry mod is at 2 this, as per this we can write modulus is at 1 minus is at 2 is less than or equal to this. It will come isn't it? But that one's result is modulus is at 1 plus modulus is at 2. This we have to use it in 2, 3 problems. Okay. Modulus of is a modulus is at 1 minus modulus is at 2 is less than or equal to modulus is at 1 plus is at 2. And that will be less than or equal to modulus is at 1 plus modulus is at 2. The same way modulus of modulus is at 1 minus is at 2 is less than or equal to 
modulus is at 1 minus is at 2 less than or equal to modulus is at 1 plus modulus is at 2. Now we can move to the problems. See example 2.9 if is at 1, is at 2, is at 3 is given. Find modulus is at 1, modulus is at 2, modulus is at 3, modulus is at 1 plus is at 2, modulus is at 2 minus is at 3 and modulus is at 1 plus is at 3. Symbol 1, modulus is at 1, that is modulus is at 1 value is 3 plus 4 i, which is equal to, shall we find out, that is root of 3 square plus 4 square. Root 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16. So we may get that is root 25. Root 25 we know the answer that is 5. If you are unable to take it out from the root we can keep as it is. Now modulus is a 2. That is modulus 5 minus 12i. So this is root of real part 5 square plus imaginary part minus 12 the whole square so 5 square 25 plus 12 square 144 25 plus 144 169 this is also a square number 169 13 into 13 is 169 so our answer is 13 then modulus is a 3 it's modulus 6 plus 8i that is root real part 6 square plus imaginary part 8 square 6 square 36 plus 8 square 64 36 plus 64 is 100 root 100 we know that 10 into 10 is 100 so square root of 100 is 10 then the next one is Modulus is at 1 plus is at 2. This is at 1, 3 plus 4i plus is at 2, 5 minus 12i. First we have to simplify this. We have to make it together the real part and imaginary part. 3 plus 5, 8, 4i minus 12i that is minus 8i. Now we can find it out. Root of real part 8 square plus imaginary part minus 8 the whole square that's root of 8 square 64 plus again 64 that is root 128 or this can be written as 64 into 2 so we can write it as 8 into root 2 64 is 8 into 8 isn't it that is why we can write it as 8 into root 2. Is that clear? So two more things we need to find out. Z2 minus Z3 and Z1 plus Z3. Modulus Z2 minus Z3. See first I have substituted the value 5 minus 12i subtract it minus 6 minus 8i. So 5 minus 6 that is minus 1 minus 12i minus 8i that is minus 20i. Now we can find it out. Root of minus 1 the whole square plus minus 20 the whole square. 1 plus 20 square is 400. That is root 401. This is not a square number. So we can keep as it is. The last one they have asked is Z1 plus Z3. It's modulus 3 plus 4i. Plus Z3 is 6 plus 8i. It's enough to add, isn't it? 3 plus 6, 9 plus 4i plus 8i is 12i. Now, this is root of 9 square plus 12 square, isn't it? Modulus of 9 plus 12i is root of 9 square plus 12 square. Root of 9 square 81 plus 12 square 144. 81 plus 144 is 225 and this is a square number 15 into 15 is 225 so our answer is 15. Do you understand this? The next example is find the following. See this both 
separate is there isn't it numerator and denominator we know that modulus z1 by z2 is equal to modulus z1 divided by modulus z2 so here also we can separate it 2 minus i by modulus minus 1 plus 2 i which is equal to root of 2 square plus minus 1 the whole square divided by root of minus 1 the whole square plus 2 square both the same isn't it root 4 plus 1 and here it is 1 plus 4 root 5 by root 5 which is equal to 1 even from here also you can cancel because both numerator and denominator same terms is there okay now the second subdivision is modulus 1 plus i bar into 2 plus 3i into 4i minus 3. See, z1 into z2 modulus is equal to, you can write modulus z1 into modulus z2. So shall we separate it? That is modulus 1 plus i bar into modulus 2 plus 3i into modulus 4i minus 3. Okay, this is same as modulus z is equal to modulus z bar. So, direct value we can write it root of 1 square plus 1 square. Here root of 2 square plus 3 square. Here root of real part minus 3 the whole square plus imaginary part is 4 square. This is root 1 plus 1 into root 2 square is 4 plus 3 square is 9 into root minus 3 the whole square 9 plus 4 square is 16. So this is root 2 into root 13 into root 25. This root 2 into root 13 we can write it as root 26. Root 25 we know 5 into 5 is 25 so we can take it out from the root so our answer is 5 into root 26 simple problems only isn't it one more subdivision is there that subdivision 3 modulus i into 2 plus i the whole cube by 1 plus i the whole square see we can separate it modulus i into modulus 2 plus i the whole cube by modulus 1 plus i the whole square because we know modulus z power n modulus is equal to modulus z power n now we can give the formula see i this is root 1 square here root 2 square plus 1 square divided by root 1 square plus 1 square root 1 square is 1 and this is root 2 square 4 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 so we make it root 5 by root 2 and here actually what is there cube so we can give cube and here it is the whole square So, root 5 the whole cube by root 2 the whole square. Root 5 the whole cube. What is the meaning? Root 5 into root 5 into root 5. So, instead of root 5 into root 5, we can write it 5. So, our answer is 5 into root 5. And the denominator root 2 the whole square. Root and square will be removed. And our answer is 2. So, for the last subdivision, the answer is 5 into root 5 divided by 2. Next example, 2.11. Which one of the points i, comma minus 2i plus minus 2 plus i and 3 is farthest from the origin? So, from the origin, which of the points will be the farthest? That which will give the longest distance. Say, distance between
origin to that I am taking it as EZ the values are I minus 2 plus I and 3 R all actually modulus that is EZ minus 0 the origin is 0 isn't it so all you can find out the modulus value see modulus I if I take only I we may get that is root 1 square which is equal to 1 now the same way this for the second value modulus minus 2 plus i a 0 we can leave it isn't it root of minus 2 the whole square plus 1 square root 4 plus 1 that is root 5 the last value that is modulus 3 only real part is there that is 3 square which is equal to 3 so which point is the farthest this root 5 may be 2 point some number isn't it so the greatest value is 3 or if we can this one is the smallest among this and the next is root 5 and the next is 3 among this the highest value is 3 therefore I can write therefore the farthest point The farthest point from the origin is 3. See you have a homework problem that is the least point or the nearest point. Nearest point also what we should do? First we have to find out all these three values and then the smallest one value we have to write the nearest point from the origin is. Is that clear? Nearest point or the closest point from the origin. Okay, see the next easiest problem but important if Z1, Z2 and Z3 are complex numbers such that modulus Z1 equal to modulus Z2 equal to modulus Z3 equal to modulus Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 equal to 1. Find the value of. For this we have to find out the value. These are the given values. See, I am taking since modulus is at 1 equal to modulus is at 2 is equal to modulus is at 3 is equal to 1. This is also equal to 1. I am just taking these three values. See this modulus is at 1 equal to 1 implies modulus is at 1 the whole square also will be equal to 1. Because I, am, I wanted to remove this modulus. See this can be written as is at 1 into is at 1 bar is equal to 1. Is that correct? Because we know modulus is set, is set into is set bar equal to modulus is set the whole square. Now, here we need 1 by is set 1, isn't it? So, find it out. Is set 1 bar is equal to 1 by is set 1. Okay. The same way, modulus is set 2 is equal to 1. So, modulus is set 2, the whole square is equal to 1. Is set 2 into is set 2 bar equal to 1. From this, is set 2 bar is equal to 1 by is set 2. Similarly, see, is set 3 bar is also equal to 1 by is set 3. Now we can find it out what is modulus 1 by is set 1 plus 1 by is set 2 plus 1 by is set 3. Modulus 1 by is set 1 plus 1 by is set 2 plus 1 by is set 3 is equal to. Actually 1 by Z1 is Z1 bar plus 1 by Z2 is Z2 bar and 1 by Z3 is Z3 bar. See Z1 bar plus Z2 bar plus Z3 bar I can write it as Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 the whole bar. Isn't it? We know that modulus Z is equal to modulus Z bar. So I can write it as modulus is at 1 plus is at 2 plus is at 3. See in that in the question they gave modulus is at 1 plus is at 2 plus is at 3 is equal to 1. Therefore the value of modulus 1 by is at 1 plus 1 by is at 2 plus 1 by is at 3 is equal to 1. Is that clear? Do you all understood this? Now the homework part. Exercise 2.5, first one. Find the modulus of the following complex number. 
see this you can separately find out the modulus isn't it 2 by 5 is the answer and here you check this is in between plus isn't it if it is division or if it is in multiplication you can separate the modulus if it is in plus or minus first you have to simplify that take LCM okay after that simplify and then find out the modulus the answer is 2 root 2 here we know this modulus the whole power 10 so here the answer is 2 power 5 this you can separate find out the modulus the answer is 50 now problem number 3 which one of the points 10 minus 8i and 11 plus 6i is closest to 2 in that uh, classwork example problem we did closest farthest to the origin isn't it so we found out z minus 0 here actually you should find it out first modulus 10 minus 8i minus 1 plus i because we have to find out the distance isn't it the same way next 11 plus 6i minus 1 plus i is that clear find it out the answer here actually your answer will be root 162 and here your answer will be root 125 among this which is the least value root 125 is the least value so the point 11 plus 6i is the closest point closest to 1 plus i so actually we have to find out the distance from that point and we should write the answer is that clear complete this homework the continuation of this class we will take in the next section okay thank you students bye bye